What is happening, family? Today is week seven. Uh, this is our third workout of the week, squat day. Uh, we start we start our conditioning with um, a ladder down, 10, 9, 8, 7, all the way down to one rep. So we're doing 10 pull-ups, 10 kettlebell swings, 10 burpees, nine pull-ups, nine kettlebell swings, nine burpees, uh, all the way down to one. Yeah, does it sound like it's a lot? Yes, it is. <laughs> but it definitely warms you up uh kettlebell swings if you don't do these these are excellent for warming up your posterior chain doing them correctly and uh also warming up your glutes your hamstrings burpees are a great warm-up for your well they're a great exercise to begin with but they're a great warm-up as well for your quads uh, same thing as like if you did jumping uh jumping squats or uh sort of like box jumps, things like that. Those are great warm-ups. Those can be a great exercise on their own, but a great warm-up for a squat day. They get everything moving, uh, get you breathing. Pull-ups, you might not think much on uh, squats, but pull-ups are just an excellent exercise, again, for everything else. But uh, pull-ups themselves, you're warming up your upper back, you're warming up your shoulders, and all of those things do play a part in your squat. You may not realize it or not, but a lot of times, depending on where your hands are, uh, depending on your shoulder mobility, uh, dictates uh, where that bar can sit on your back and um, how well your squat days go. Sometimes they don't, you, your legs feel good, your back, your lower back feels good, so you think today's gonna be a good day, and for whatever reason, your shoulders are acting up and it stops you from doing what you can do that day and you don't even realize it you'll blame it on something else and it's really just your whole shoulder joint and just not gripping the bar correctly so that's uh that's basically our warm-up here um I, I was feeling really good today and um just wanted to just wanted to hit it hard today is a we're working up to about 95 percent so it is a really good squat day for me so it's good to actually feel good um just on a side note if you don't if you don't have any sort of programming down or you don't know what you're doing in the gym i, I would advise writing it down you don't necessarily have to get a program from somebody or do anything there's so much free stuff out there on the internet but write something down write your whole week out you know take take a couple minutes on sunday write the whole week out and it's just so much better to know exactly what's going on exactly what you're going to do for the week um, if you're not looking for percentages per se like this this programming is all about percentages if you're just looking for exercises then you know just do uh whatever reps or whatnot you should know what what about the weight is to do those reps and if you're doing like a bodybuilding program or something like that just write it down be one of those guys that has the notebook in the gym it it, it helps you progress week after week after week and it lets you see where you were just a couple weeks ago or a couple months ago so that was my squat warm-up we worked up to about 300 pounds and then um our three giant sets our strength portion of of today is three higher box jumps that's that's a much higher box than i normally use um, so three box jumps am rep squats uh, so as many reps as possible uh, you're looking for a certain number for each round this one was at least four and i believe i got four or five um, then you're doing we're doing uh, barbell rollouts which i should have had 45s on the side here I don't know why I had 25s, but I don't. I guess it seemed like a good idea at the time. And uh, <laughs> and then a 50-foot bear walk, which if you've never done those before, they don't really seem like much. Don't get me wrong; they they just seem like a waste of time almost. But um, they they warm up your shoulders, they warm up your glutes, and and while everything is warm right now after your exercise, they also show you. Uh, like how weak you can be in such a simple movement. 
like, like pain or soreness. It's just, it's amazing. Some of these movements in, in this programming, it's just, it really opens up your eyes to where your weaknesses are. And then the assistance, uh, it was a 12 minute, uh, as many reps as possible in 12 minutes, five front squats, heavy, 10 glute ham raises, which are not shown, and then 10 seated good mornings, and a rest in between of 90 seconds. So you're trying to blast through the, that round as quickly as possible, and then you get to rest 90 seconds and do it all over again for 12 minutes. So this is a really, really successful day for me. I uh, was feeling real good. I know Monday was pretty bad with my back blowing up and things like that. And Tuesday was a little bit, a little bit the same. Did a lot of stretching, uh, a lot of uh, rolling work, a lot of uh, lacrosse ball work this week. So I think that really helped for squat day. So here we are, uh, day four or workout four for this week. Our conditioning was was really <laughs> was really something for this morning I was sweating up a storm so right off the bat we're running 800 meters and then doing 10 rounds of a 20 second sprint and a 40 second walk doesn't sound like a lot but man you start sweating and start getting it so that what we saw before was our bench press we were building up to about 90 percent so I had about 260 on the bar there and then we work into our our strength rounds uh, for today it's round one was eight uh, pen lay rows as as heavy as your bench or heavier depending on where you're at um, gonna be an amrap bench 30 seconds of russian twists which ends up being about 15 for me uh, 15 16 somewhere around there and then five burpee bar touches were what was scheduled but i just i would have to go way to the other side of the gym to do that so i just did um as high as i could burpee jumps and that that sort of mimics the same movement you know so that was three rounds of that and then our assistance was another 12 minute as many reps as possible um 12 dumbbell rows each side heavy so 12 each side um eight close grip bench press heavy again and 12 uh, dumbbell floor press heavy. So this is a heavier set. Today was just like a medium type of bench day. Um, felt really good. Uh, I, before the program started, you know, my bench has always been very weak. 265 was the most I've ever put up. And that was a long time ago. I, I did make that my, my starting one rep max for this program. And I did get it but it was sloppy. And what's amazing is after, you know, we're in week seven and uh, I believe it was last week, 265 was my, uh, my, what I worked up to, you know, that was my workup set. So it's just, it's, it's a really awesome feeling to, um, to be able to do that. So here I slowed it down so you could see what the floor pressed, you're down to the elbows, boom. So that, that's it for the, the final of week seven. Those are my final two weeks, or my final two days, I should say. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.